Hey everybody, how you going? It's Tuesday today. This is the sort of right weather we've had today. It's been raining and hailing and it's uh, been blowing a lot. It's been really bad. The uh, batteries uh, are at 99% full which is really good um, I had a fellow message on a video saying oh you don't need all that stuff you've got your batteries can only take a hundred amps charge at a time let me uh, go get the key and uh, we'll have a look at these batteries but uh, he reckoned I was overpowered but I'm powered for winter and weather like this um, where we might only get you know two hours of sun out of the whole day or dim light at the moment look it's pouring rain but the sun's just came out and but the batteries are basically full this one's not even doing anything 6.8 amps and the rest of the inverters will be um, providing their own power to run the house because they've all got solar on them everything here's got solar on it I'll just go get a key and uh, show this fellow his batteries because you know, it's important that people understand a system before they comment. Alright, so it. I don't know what sort of batteries he was talking about, but these has 24 1000 amp hour 2 volt batteries here. Now let me get down and you can see the ratings there for them. Okay. internal current loads so each one of those batteries will take 300 amps and there's 24 of them so um, I think he's quite capable of doing the math himself uh, but when you come on my channel and are quite rude and um, you already know everything. I didn't really feel like explaining to the fella. Ah, uh, but he's got it all wrong. And that, you know, he's probably used to a little 12 volt lithium, uh, not a li even a lithium, a 12 volt lead acid battery in his car that's got a internal resistance of probably 55 to 100 amps depending on the sort of battery it is um, or for lithium uh, you know 45 amps charge and a 100 amp draw something like that you know but I've been off grid for a lot of years and um, this whole winter we haven't even used 20 litres in, in, in uh, fuel for the generator um, but like I tell you it's all the time uh, power your house for winter you know most of you uh, already know we have a I don't know, electric hot water heater but it's programmed, it's programmed, it comes on at 10 and switches off at 2. It's currently at 63 degrees Celsius in the tank. <coughs> we just, um, everything inside's electric except for the oven. And that, the, the oven is actually gas and electric. And the tops are all gas, the burners are all gas. But everything else in the house, is all electric you know it's nice having these patches of uh, sunshine during the storms but look there's got to be a good wow well that the middle one's full so that's one inch there's got to be a good 
inch and a half of rain in the rain gauge from today it's uh been pelting down pelting down uh, i've got some uh people i met camping coming to stay we've still got the camper trailer apart i'm waiting on some bits for that i don't know what happened to australia post lately but it's been so slow so so slow and then i've got that uh new lithium-ion battery um that we're going to do something with in the car but basically people um off-grid systems look it's, they're all about redundant redundant bits and having redundant parts because you're providing your own power for your house so you've got to allow for a few things to fail at once and still be providing power to the house um, I think that's important anyway there you go that's a little video